Okay, I seriously struck gold with this one. My partner was on Facebook and she noticed that nearby somebody was having a yard sale and they were getting rid of a whole bunch of really cool frames and I managed to grab this absolute beauty. It is a solid wood frame and it's got like these really cool rosettes that are on the corners and uh, these really, really neat engravings and stuff and I cannot wait to kind of uh, restore it and get it looking really cool. For the size I'm gonna use, I am just gonna use the one shot imitation gold. Uh, the reason why I'm gonna use this one is because it shows up really, really well and when you gild it, it kind of has a tendency to hide if you've not exactly covered the whole piece and seeing these rosettes, they're really, really uneven. And I don't really want to waste a lot of um, loose gold on it. If I can, I kind of want to keep that for a different project. So I'm just going to try and use transfer, but it is going to struggle to get in all those bumps. So imitation gold is the key and hopefully any little misses won't show. Starting with the rosettes, I began painting around the outside. And for this I was using just a size zero quill. I wanted to get pretty accurate, but the quill is kind of soft as well. So it's not going to be springy and jump about everywhere. It's going to be easy to control and it will get a nice thick coat on there as well. So I've went for a quill for this one. It was a little bumpy and you notice my hands kind of shaky. There were a lot of weird angles that I was trying to lean over. And it was pretty awkward, but we got there in the end. I managed to cover the whole thing without too much difficulty. And once I've gone around the entire of the outside, I've filled in the middle with a much harder brush. That way I haven't got to kind of keep going over it with a sign painting brush, but I can actually get into all the bits. I was just worried though that uh, it would make a lot of pools which wouldn't dry or it wouldn't be even with the kind of brush strokes I was doing on the outside. In the end that didn't cause too much of a problem and it dried pretty good. And now the rosette is covered, you can really see how cool this is going to look. The overall shape of it looks really really neat and I love how distinct it looks. Now once the first one's covered, I'm going to try and leave this around 3 hours I think. Uh, I'll have to keep checking it in the meantime just to be sure, but I have to remember what order I paint these in, because I'm going to do the next ones, but when it comes to gilding it, I want to gild them in order, I don't want to be gilding one that I recently painted, so I have to kind of make a mental note of that one in my head. The thing I loved about doing this project, it was absolutely so different from what I'm usually doing. It's, sometimes it's really fun to get into something new that you're not used to doing and kind of try out new things and for a while I've just been wanting to try out so much new stuff and it's been great that I can show a lot of this on the channel. As you can probably tell there's a lot of stuff that I try on here that I haven't done before and spent so long in the sign industry and there is still so much that I have yet to learn and yet to try. And cool projects like this are definitely things that I want to do more of. I cannot stress how exciting this whole project was. And the whole time I'm trying to think of ideas of signs that I can put inside the frame. Because I really want to put something really cool in here. So I figured this video and another video So I figured this video and another video are gonna be part of a two-part kind of series. And first one is gonna be me making a really cool gold leaf frame. And the second one is making an actual sign to go in it. And hopefully we are gonna make something really unique. So while I'm still waiting for the size to be ready, it's time to get our stuff ready and be prepared to gild for when it is ready. So for this video, I've already mentioned, I've got some 23 carat transfer uh, gold leaf and I've got this from Handovers in the UK. As you guys probably know from watching my videos, I almost always use Handovers. I just find them uh, really good for gold leaf and a good resource. Uh, and I'm even in Canada and it still makes it worthwhile to me to go to them. So have a look on there if you're looking for gold leaf, you may save yourself a pretty penny and you'll get some good gold too. This is ready to go and in the end I waited about four hours for this to be ready. Normally quite a bit longer than I'd normally wait. Now even though this was ready to gild, it was really difficult as I thought to get into all the gaps. So it took a lot of going over and even when I did do that, there were a fair amount of misses. Although to be fair, if you're not looking out for them, 
you're never really gonna see them so I figured you know it's not gonna be the worst thing in the world unless you're really staring for it most of the time you're not gonna see it so I wasn't gonna be too fast it's kind of why I use the imitation gold anyway for the paint There is nothing more satisfying than watching the gold flakes fly away. Oh, it gets me every time. Now once I'd gone over it once and brushed away the excess gold, it's probably going to need one or two bits of extra gold just to fill in some of the worst cracks and get the worst misses out. Now one of the questions that I get a lot of is how long do you wait for gold size to be ready to gild? And to be honest, it can vary a lot. When I was working in a place called Stratford in Ontario, there was a really small mini theater. It's like one of the smallest theaters in the world. It can only hold, I think it was something like eight people or something like that. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. It was the sign out the front and we were gilding a, a really nice kind of ornate sign. And it was about, probably about 35 degrees. And we were in the direct sun and we painted that gold size on that. And within 15 minutes, my dad said to me, look, you, you best start gilding this. It's going to dry. And I kind of laughed it off, thinking, you know, whatever. And so I've got that up there. And yeah, all the stuff I did 15 minutes earlier was going off. And I was unsure if I was going to gild it. So it was a mad rush after 15 minutes. So yeah, if you ask... so. I suppose the moral of the story is, with gold size, it can completely vary on whatever. This one takes 4 hours, in direct sun to 35 degrees, 15 minutes. So always kind of keep an eye on it, check it, just use your savvy and see what you can work out. How freaking cool does that look? Like it's freaking cool! To anyone less than the know this thing almost looks like solid gold. And that's what we want them to believe. Now that the rosettes are done, I think I used about 12 leaves for that. And that was absolutely perfect, so I'm definitely doing the vines that go along the sides. I really didn't think that would take up too much gold anyway. Painting these was a lot more of a pain though, so I had to be a lot more careful. It didn't help that you were constantly moving about trying to get a good angle on it and leaning over and it wasn't great. But truth be told, the kind of hand on look would look really, really good with this. I noticed there were a lot of inconsistencies with the carving and I thought, you know what? That actually looks really, really nice. The way it kind of all looks different and all has its little quirky bits. So I figured, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world if my painting is not going to be absolutely perfect here. Once it's gilded, it's just going to look fantastic anyway. So I begun the long but not so laborious task of painting all these leaves. As difficult as it was, it was actually a lot of fun knowing that it was just going to look so damn cool by the end of it.
Now, I left this one for quite a bit less time. I get the feeling this one was a bit more exposed and maybe because it was a smaller area, it kind of dried quicker, but this one was about two hours and it was ready to dry. Maybe I was using the paint a little bit thinner this day, but whatever, it dried really, really good and it got a really great shine to it. So that was absolutely brilliant. Even though there were a few bits that I kind of had to go back over a, a little bit later just to make sure that it was all covered and there weren't too many messes. The misses in this section would be a lot more noticeable uh, than the parts of the rosettes which you kind of get overblown by the amount of gold that's there. Oh man, when things look this good, I absolutely love the work that I do. This is starting to look absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to get a sign into this thing. Now I didn't have time to do all the painting of this in one section, so what I did is I did them in sections. I did the first two sides first, and then the second two sides afterwards at a later date. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough time to gild it and uh, also kind of leave enough time to get to bed and be up at a good time the next day as well. So I kind of had to juggle around a few things, but in the end it looked fantastic either way. And really wasn't too much of a problem for me. I'm kind of used to working odd hours to get these videos to work. just burnishing the last few pieces of this and it is looking absolutely fantastic. Cannot wait to get a sign into this and make it look even better. So I'm gonna let this uh, settle for tonight and I'm gonna get some really cool pictures tomorrow and we're gonna see how cool this looks. And man this looks so sick, I cannot wait to friggin get an actual sign in it, oh my goodness. I've got a few ideas for what to do for that, but I am going to be going on holiday in just a few days now. I'm going to go back to England to see my family. It's been a long time. Just over four years since I've seen my mum and my sister and everybody. So I absolutely can't wait. Haven't seen my little brother in a long time either. Last time I was there, he kind of had a squeaky voice and was really short and now I hear he's taller than me and a deeper voice than me too, so I absolutely can't wait to see him all and have a bunch of fun. Because of that, I am probably going to be a little bit slow on the next video and uh, maybe a little bit of a delay, but to be honest, I could do with the break either way. So it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, making this with you guys i uh, hope you really like the video and i hope you look forward to seeing the one uh next where we actually put together a glass sign for this frame and we can see what really really cool stuff we make 
Now if you like the video make sure to give it a like and if you want to see more content like this make sure to hit subscribe. I have been Lewis the Lighthead and until next time bye bye.